Welcome to another episode of Ajawi TV. I'm Ajawi, and for today, we want to look at grid lines. So what are grid lines? Um, how do we use them? Why do we use them? And uh, what are the purpose? What are the real purpose of grid lines on your construction drawings? All right. So without any further ado, let's get into that. So, grid lines. What are grid lines? Grid lines are the light lines with um, a notation on it um, that runs across your drawing, right? Um, they're spaced um, parallel to each other within on the drawing. They can either be equal distances apart or they can be at um, different distances apart. However, um, they're always part well. In some cases, they're parallel to each other in some cases they are not. It depends on the type of drawing that you are doing or the form of the structure, all right? Now, why do we use grid lines? Grid lines is an is a easy way or the best way I found of actually referencing things, right? So, if it is that you look at any of my drawings or my standard drawings that I, I prepare, I always try to use grid lines. Um, you'll see that in one direction i use um numeric values so one two three four and so on if it is that i reach a number that is not well if it is that i reach a number that i think is too high then i'll start start over and say one a one b one one c etc so say say i have a drawing right and within a particular space so between one and two, I have um, some things that I need to, to pick up within that space. I would then go in between one and two, whatever is between that area, I start using alpha numeric um, notation. So one A, one B, until and only stick within the one and two range um, so that I can better identify, you know, the particular uh, thing that I am trying to call out. No. Here's the thing, whenever the grid is changed in the other direction, right, it now changed to A. So it, I now use alphabets on this side going down. So A, B, C, D, go all the way down. Um, when I was working with an engineer, I actually worked with an engineer for two years, right? Um, there's an, an alphabet that he asked me not to use, which is I. Um, he asked me not to use I because I can be mixed up with with um, one, the number one. So it always says skip I and so if it is that I'm at H, skip I and go to J. So H, J, K and, and so forth, right? Now, here's a, here's a common example of how you, you would use your grid. Right? So you have now set up your grid on your drawing. You have now picked up major walls or structural elements. That's what I use my grids for. So what the major walls within the within the building or the structural elements within the building, I ensure that I pick those up. So columns um, spaced at a particular distance is apart, those would be picked up with my grids. In addition, structural walls would be picked up. So if it is that I have a column here and a column here, but I have a structural wall in between, I will also pick up that structural wall on my grid as well. All right. So I'm on site. Somebody's on site, and they call me on the phone and say, "Hey, um, the wall in the master bathroom is not is not uh, lining up with with the wall in the kitchen." That information means nothing, absolutely nothing to me. Why? Because um, it's not really giving me much information. It's giving me information, mark you. However, the information is not precise. I can, I can then assume that that particular wall is something else. So it's never a good idea to do that. What you would be doing is, I would call the person and say, hey, the wall at grid one 
or the wall between grade 1 and 2, A, should I change that wall to a 6 inch thick wall or a 6 inch or a 4 inch wall? Now look at this. I have now told them that okay, the wall between between 1 and 2, right? And then A B B in this direction. So now they are able to tell me to know that okay, the wall between 1 and 2, so that's the length of the wall, and then at A. So that's telling me which wall that is. Do I need to change that? So that information is more precise and it, it eliminates the room for any mistakes, right? Once you're on site. So that's the whole reason behind grids. Now somebody also indicated to me that they use grid, the grids to actually set out the building, which is another means of setting up, setting up um, your grids on your drawing so the contractor themselves can then use that information to be as a reference and help them to set out the building properly all right so if you're a contractor right this is a challenge that I'm gonna have if you're a contractor and you would like me to come to your site and interview you in relation to utilizing grid lines to set out your building I'm all up for it Get, leave it your comments below and I'll arrange and come and we you know have a nice talk and take it from there all right so if you like this information please click the like button subscribe leave your comments below and I'll see you next time this is what this is Ajawi thanks for watching and I'll see you next time